everyone, it's The Canny Crafter and I have finally bound my journals. So we'll start with the one we made on camera, I think. So I did a hard cover and just a um, three whole pamphlet stitch. That's what that is. <laughs> so here we have the inside. I just found another card, put the front off, rounded the corners and slipped that in there. I love the green with the green. So you have a little tuck spot here if we need it. But do I need a target there? Should we just should we just flip? <laughs> I love him though. And we've got another pocket there behind for something. Um, I'm debating about sticking these down. I don't know. Some of them just seem really flippy floppy. And that's just another card front put down. Ready to go. Um, I definitely want to make another one of these. There you are. Tied in the middle. I just think it's so full. And I feel like we could have added even more to it. But that, that can be for whoever gets this journal. So maybe I need to make myself one. I think I'm going to sell both of these. Ooh, there's that funny little bit. You know what, we'll leave it. It's characterful. And here's the middle of the book. Under the second signature. I just think it's so fun. That was the inside of the card that I just decorated it with a cluster. So remember, don't disregard the insides of your cards. Because even the little sentiment. I love this. This has to be one of my favourite pages. A little tuck spot there. just fun that just one page it seemed very thick so that is that and there is the back and there is the spine again it's a shaker <laughs> how fun is that I definitely love this <laughs> I mean I'm saying I'm gonna sell it I'm not I don't know okay so I made a fabric cover journal. This was two large paper envelopes that I stuck together and then the cover is actually um, tea towels from the pound shop. <laughs> Would you believe? I think one of our pound shops um, went out of business a few years ago and it was like 10 items for a pound so I just grabbed anything. <laughs> and finally I'm using my tea towels. So. I've made a closure with the tartan ribbon, thought that was a cute way to bring that in and it's just attached on one side under this and then do that bit around. Again a three hole pamphlet stitch. Um, top tip is I forgot to sew this on before I attached my covers together the inside and outside this is a different tea towel from that set so I just ran this through the sewing machine and then I glued it on with my fabric glue well actually it's the three in one it's the same thing in my eyes um, but it looks like it's stitched on and again a little sentiment from the inside of a card I just it felt like it needed something and I just went around them ever so gently gently with um rustic wilderness stress oxide I just I thought they needed to pop a little bit um, so there's the inside cover no pockets or anything on this and there's a little tuck spot a little envelope pocket um, I don't know if I've shown you this one. Oh, that has nothing in it do we need something in that no I don't think we do this is a tuck spot as well 
there's two cards there. Could one of these go over there? There we are. <laughs> Love the vellum pages. Again, okay, just a card. Just a card. Maybe a little journal card. Love this paper. Okay, the front of a card, round the corners, you're good to go. Belly band with a tag. No, that's not a tuck spot. See, that one's just a bit, I don't know, I'm undecided. Love this paper. These are actually, were they? Well, the top one's a tuck, the bottom one isn't. <laughs> Little belly bands, our little elf. Again, just the front of a card, put down, chomp the corners to turn it into tag. Large tag. In this one, like some of the words I cut off, I don't mind because we know that it's a card. I don't feel like that's a very good state. Oh no, it is not. This is why we'll have these flip throughs. Again. Didn't work. That's it. Went through that down. See, and that one's very flippy flappy. I just, I don't know. Here you go. Again, just a Christmas card, front, down. Look at flippy flappy. Decorated page. Again, just another Christmas card, front. I made a pull tab out of some orange circles. Love these. That one's actually a tuck as well. I think they're great for photos. So again, made a pull tab out of the one inch circles. I think that's such a fun idea. Oh no! This is not stuck at all! Oh no! We may have to rethink this page. I even put washi on it to try and get it to stick. Okay. Did not anticipate having to do this quick fix, but let us see what we have. I'm gonna pull in the box of Christmas cards. It is still a great big box of Christmas cards. I don't feel like it's diminished any. Um I feel like we could make another pocket with that. I don't know why. I think it's because I used sellotape because I didn't want anything catching on the vellum and the glue was just not sticking to the sellotape, even my three in one. Okay, let's make a pocket out of this. this card in one of the journals and I'm not sure which one. I like that. I like that. I'm keeping the card for that. The tall. Got the top and the bottom on. Filling me bin up already. Concern is though. Hmm. 
like that and that are very much the same. <laughs> Not that you can see. The card and the tag are very much the same. Okay, let's do another card. It's not big enough. Oh, I do like this one, you know. Let's cut this one down. I'm just going to use that one as a template. That can actually look kind of be for the next project that is on the agenda. dream okay let's stick this in oh I'm, I'm glad you used that let's hope it sticks to all this other glue if not I don't know what to do You know what I'm going to say? <laughs> it beats some cherries. <laughs> I think these big red ones are prime candidates. I'm going to put one there. One there. I was going to go for three because three is a magic number but it wasn't working so I went for five instead. Okay, hopefully we've fixed that page and then when it is dry we can reinstate our journal card which is again just a, um, a card front with rounded corners. Okay, flippy flippy. I can't put that down because of the glue. <laughs> yeah. Belly band. Again, just a card front. That's a handmade card. Not like I didn't have enough store bought cards. Took spot with a little notepad that we made together. So cute. Love that. That's just beautiful. Um, belly band. Love that. Last page. So, those are our two journals made mainly from Christmas cards. Even is a Christmas card. I love that. So, great way to keep sentimental cards as well. Um, and what a lot of people do keep sentimental cards. I have all of my Valentine's cards. I need to make a journal with those. I mean, this doesn't just have to be for Christmas cards. You've got kiddies, like new baby or their birthdays. Things like that. Or if it's, it's a special birthday for yourself or for a loved one, you know, happy 40th. There's all your 40th birthday cards. I think that would be really fun. Oh, I'm sad about that. But you know what we can do with that? 
We can stitch it onto something. Seems as none of the glue is working. <laughs> we can stitch it onto something. I'm going to put that in my Christmas card box. So I hope this has given you some inspiration for what to do with your old Christmas cards. This was so much fun. And see, you can have hard cover, you can have soft cover. The sky is the limit with these. I just, I'm going to close this up. So you can see them again. So, we are continuing with the Christmas card theme for the next video. But it's not going to be journal. It's going to be card, card related. Since as you all love my Christmas card recycle videos. It's time for one for 2022. I will see you next time. Thank you so much for joining me. I have to go set this aside to dry now. <laughs> Bye.